Hi there, it's uh, Marcus here from Full Pods. Um, thought I'll do a video for you to show you what our new uh, Full Pods Touch app looks like and works like. It's going to be pretty crude because I'm recording on one phone to another and obviously you can see the screen in the background so excuse the jumping and all the rest of it. So let's start off with a basic uh, touchscreen system as you know it by now surely. Um, so I'm just going to simply do a, add a table argument sake and I'm going to click there and say it's table 45 sorry uh, two people at the table and I'm going to ring up some starters excuse the buttons calamari squid and I'm going to jump to my mains here at the bottom and I'm going to ring up a T-bone do all my prompts again uh, say it's medium rare with chips uh, accepted and let's just do a, a T-bone as well uh, let's select that one as medium well with baked potato and that one I want some sour cream and butter with and I accept it and that's the basic order and I'm finishing here at the bottom right hand side which is the basic now of course the printer will now go and start printing your orders for you um, in other words in the kitchen slip itself it will print out the table number nice and bold and big um, the number of guests at the table so the uh, chef can check that the uh, number of food items is corresponding to what the number of guests is. There's nobody, no guest is going to sit at a table waiting for food that's never going to arrive because it was never placed. Uh, at the top of the slip you can see there clearly it shows KP, for kitchen printer. Your order comes out nicely, T-bone, meat prep, medium well, starch prep is baked potato with sour cream. Obviously it will cut off at some stage. You can try and keep your descriptions as, slow, as small as possible to make sure that it fits into your uh, on your receipt and also maybe you know just change the wording of it uh, in other words not to have starch prep but maybe just starch or in fact just ST or some abbreviation uh, logged into a customer the other day that had an error and man oh man did she go wild on that uh, and eventually the system crashed because the total message characters was more than 255 characters so we fixed that up in the new version all right, so that's the, the basic touch. Now, obviously, we want to be able to do the same thing. And the question might be, why would you want to? Well, uh, we cannot really, if we grow our business, or maybe in December time, you might say to yourself, okay, fine, I do not necessarily want to do the layout of a proper full-on computer with a touchscreen and all the rest of it. The touch app makes so much more sense uh, because I can use the touch app to uh, literally just buy a 4 pass license excuse me, let me get, try and get the, the hands right, so obviously I'm a man so I can't do multitasking um, so let's get in there, I'm just going to type in the password excuse that if it's out of sync, it's a normal default password, I'm just typing the password in there and I'm clicking up submit now as you can see on the app I've got a basically a duplication of what was happening on the screen if I want to add a new table, I'm simply going to click on the plus sign over there I'm going to try and keep the phone away far enough so I can get some focus on it. Uh, so let me try and click a plus again. Come on. And it says table number. And on the table number itself, I can put in table 55. Uh, I don't think I have a table 55. Let's make it 556 five, just to be easier. In fact, let me put the phone down or the other phone down on the table. It might be easier. Excuse again for the... Uh, non-professionalism I'll get a recording ongoing I just needed to do something quickly for a customer that was waiting for us okay so never mind so I've got my table number 5561 there which is a mistake but doesn't matter um, sorry I can enter on there and I can put in the number of guests obviously as five okay next on there and oh, come on sorry I keep forgetting to instead of pressing next so there's my menu layout the same as what I have on the touch. Just to refresh your memory, this is a direct copy of what's happening on your touchscreen system. So you don't need to go and program anything on that touch app. If I click on that table, argument sake, and I say add transactions, you can see I've got my menus over there, starters, main, and specials. And over here, I've got my beers, cold drinks, and wines. And as you can see, I've got exactly the same layout on here. So it's very simple for you to be able to start operating. Let's go to mains, for instance. I want to ring up a, a rump 300 and again the cooking messages appear as well I've wanted medium uh, baked potato and again I'm doing it difficult for, for a reason I can restart the order accept the order or uh, cancel I can accept that and 
then I can also go back to cold drinks for instance and I say the person also wants a cold drink 200 ml. Now you can see the bill at the bottom it shows me nicely what the order has been placed as and I can click OK to call, confirm the order. You, are you sure you want to finish? OK and again within seconds you'll see the order has already gone through on the printer. So this is all a wireless configuration from the phone app uh, to the PC. At the back of the PC I've got a wireless dongle. Um, it's critical that it must be wireless. You can't have cable obviously between the app and the, the system. And what basically happens is over and above the touchscreen app or the touchscreen program running on the desktop here, you'll see there's my table 5561 now. I could also go on a table 5561 over there and add something to that. In other words, I can go and ring up another beer as well. In other words, the, the person carrying the tablet or the app, uh, sorry, the Android device around with them might be busy somewhere else and I'm just grabbing an order from a customer and I'm saying finish. And the order will obviously print to the bar area if there was anything set up for that. And then when I go back to my app itself, um, on the table itself, you'll see table 5561 has already been updated. Um, if I click on that now and I just want to view the table, it shows me that I've got Amstel Coke and a rump. So the Amstel that I just rang up here on this side, again, excuse, sorry for the jumping all over the show. Um, let me just go and print that bill quickly, the bill over here as well. Uh, Amstel Coke and a rump, all perfectly in sync with each other. In other words, it's a two-way communication. Now, from a technical point of view, as I said, there's a wireless connection. There's also another little program that runs in the background here. And that's our new 4Pass API controller, as we call it. And it will show you exactly what uh, is running on the system. It's also the way that you will configure the system. Um, and in essence, that's exactly how the, the system works once it's been set up correctly. Enjoy.